morning and welcome to the deep west of North Carolina, gentlemen. Although these trees are making it look like we're in Alaska, these things are gorgeous. They have the complimentary Christmas trees here. Uh, let me explain a little bit. We're at the cabin right now. We just woke up. I don't know what time it is. I don't have my phone on me. I think it's charging. Either way, internet doesn't work. Nothing works out here. We're like in the sticks practically. <laughs> and we are about 1.9 miles, if I'm not mistaken, from one of the top trout streams in North Carolina fully. Now, I'm not gonna disclose. It, it's, one of the, it's one of the best trout streams for a reason. I'm not gonna disclose what reason because last video we made here, we got hopped on by the fishing police of North Carolina um, who absolutely freaked out about us disclosing the spot, which we, I don't think we ever did actually disclose it, but you get the point. Um, there's gonna be some angry people. So I'm not gonna disclose exactly where we're going, but I'm gonna say we're going to a really cool creek. This stream is, y'all are not gonna wanna miss out on it. But 1.9 miles away, we're really, really close. Wow, that sun is just gorgeous. It's a freaking beautiful morning. If I'm not mistaken, the mountains have been getting a good bit of rain recently. As you can tell, it's a little bit soggy out here. I don't know how that's gonna affect the rivers or the creeks or the streams, whatever we're fishing. You guys, you guys will see in a little bit. I don't think they'll be flooded. I don't really know if trout streams get flooded. I know a little bit about trout fishing, not a ton. We're still kind of new to the trout fishing thing, fly fishing thing. We're gonna be fly fishing, by the way. I'm freaking stoked. We gotta load up the car right here and then head our way over uh, two miles from one of the top streams in North Carolina. This is gonna be sick. <laughs> Stay tuned, this is going to be sick. I'll see y'all at the creek. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it. We got some intel from some other fishermen who said walk up all the way to the turnaround. We got to the turnaround. They said that's where that's nobody goes. That's the untouched waters, the uncharted waters, and that's where the trout are. You know us. We got, we have young legs. We're kids. We're gonna. Oh, I just saw a fat surface right there. We are going to put in the miles to get to the fish, no matter what. We got, we got that drive in us. So, we are here at literally might be the most gorgeous spot on the entire river. It's, it's absolutely spectacular. Spectacular. Another reason we walked up this far is today's the start of opening season. If you don't know what that means, that means all the worm guys, all the corn guys, all the treble hook guys come in here and they just strip this river clean of trout. So we, we, we made the journey, we trekked to the top and it was worth it. Look how beautiful this is. It's absolutely gorgeous. There were two otters here earlier. I think that's what they're called. I gotta shut the hell up. And we're not getting on green fish today, boys. We're getting on rainbows, browns, and brooks. I'm freaking stoked. Let's go kill them. I'm honestly at like a loss for words right now. Uh, how pretty this is. Like it's absolutely insane. There has got to be some big trout in here. And we could walk up river from here too. I mean, you put in the work, you get to the spots. The next part of the equation is you catch the fish if you got the right stuff. And according to those smart looking fly fishermen we met earlier, I think we got the right stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be awesome. I just, I don't know what otters eat, but hopefully it's not whatever I'm throwing. Sorry if it's really freaking dark back here, guys. We're like really thick into the trees right now. You can see above us, it's just like cliffs and we're just in this little clear water creek at the bottom of it. It's so cool, dude. Got him, fish on. Oh, yes. Fish on, boys. <laughs> Woo. Let's use our reel. Keep tight, keep tight. Oh, it's a beaut- Oh, I don't have my net. No. I totally forgot my net. It's a beautiful little brown trout. This is so sick. All right, come here. He's right in the top of the mouth. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do it to me. Holy moly. Oh my gosh, all right. We don't want to break off, but don't go back. No, god damn it. Come here. Dude, that was fast. That was so fast. Here he comes. 
This is a three weight rod. I'm used to five weights. I've never thrown three weight. I, got, I also got to get used to this really light line. So I don't know how much I can crank on this fish. That's a really, that's a really nice trout though. This thing's freaking gorgeous. We're going to land them right here in this puddle. What the hands? Wow, that water is so cold. Give me a slippery belly. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Boys, first trout of the trip. It's a gorgeous one. We gotta keep this fish super healthy though. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's get this guy unhooked. We'll let you go right in some nice current. Thank you, buddy. I'll see you later. Go live another day. Don't hey, don't let it don't eat any worms or corn today, buddy. No treble hooks, no crankbaits, no worms, no corn. You're good. You've been caught. You don't need to eat anymore, okay? Get scared. Yes, dude. Dude, that was such good footage. Yes. Well, that's a fat spider web in my face. It's like in my mouth, dog. Oh, look, it does look like there's kind of a trail. Thank God. A bear trail. This is where it's about to get brutal. Oh, dude, we found a pool. We got here. We made it. It's a little bit shallow, but I think we're we're in the juice. We've we've passed the uncharted water point, I think. Let's move in, baby. Oh, I see one. Yeah. Matt Shade, right where you find him. Dude, there's nothing around us. Look forward, dude. And backward for all that matters. Like holy moly. Where'd that sucker go? Oh, dude, this is crazy. Oh, all sorts of creatures could be in there. Here we go. We found water. Dude, this is a hell of a journey. We've gone a long distance. A very, very far distance. I say, let's keep going. And then if, if there's nothing, we turn around. Well, I can't lie to you right now. This is kind of BS. Like complete BS. We talked to some guy, he told us go way up river. There's a bunch of sick pools loaded with fish. We've been like going for like three miles like I swear to God we've been going three miles up this stream and it's just been looking like this throughout the entire river which is not bad it's moving water but it's it's so shallow it's so rocky there's nothing like that pulls the fish in it might be time to turn around we've wasted like two hours of the morning just trekking trekking and trekking through like literally this it's a little dark you can't see but like this woods behind me. It's absolutely redonkulous. I don't know what to do. I think we're going to head back that way. I don't know if it's going to be loaded up with fishermen. It might be, but like, we've been going so... Yo, I'm also getting a super, super, super strong scent of poop right now. And I don't really think deer poop and raccoon poop smell. So that's making me a little bit nervous, but I mean, seriously, come on, come on. We got, we got to do something. We got to figure something out. We might need to head back, find the, find the stupid stocked trout. It's tough, dude. We're on a, this is a hell of a journey. I'll tell you that. This has, stick with it though. We're going to go on these fish. It's going to be tough, but we'll see. We got to make a plan. We got to do something. We got to do something. There we go, boys. We're, we're on, we see some fish, and there's not many fly fishermen. Oh, there's a real big one sitting right here. He's 
going for it. He's going for it. That big and just ate me. Got him. Big fish. Big and big and big and big and big and big and no way he just ate that. No way. This is my personal best right here. This is my PB trout right here, baby. No way he just ate that. And we don't have a net. No. Oh no, no, no. He's about to cut me off on the rocks. Oh no, no, no. No. Oh my god. <sighs> no. I, sh I, I, I should have moved. There's no way in hell I was going to land that thing. On this three weight with like two pound line. I still got both my flies. No, he did, dude. He cut off the little one on a rock. Oh. That was like the 18 inch trout right there. Oh my God, dude. There's, I should have ran with him. What was I thinking? I should have came down this way. I was just so, I was still so surprised he ate it. Cause it was such a bad drift. My fly was just rolling down the rocks. Like, look like it looked like absolute, it looked like absolute crap. And he just picked it up and I was like, what? And I didn't know what to do. He cut me right off on that rock. I, I had no chance. Dude, what the hell? I didn't move cause I was genuinely so surprised he ate it. Cause he was right there next to me. I was like, oh, I might as well just flip it in front of him and he eats it and I'm like, what the hell? Dude. Here we go, dry fly. Please do something for me. Oh, close. Oh. He likes it when I like, pull it away from him. Got him. That was insane. That was so sick. No. That was so weird. It's like I was giving him perfect drifts. And it's like when I when I let it drift and I do the most unnatural thing possible and pull it away from him, he'll eat it. It's like what what? It's like they want it unnaturally. I'm confused. I'm so confused by these fish. It's pissing me off. You guys aren't seeing it, but I'm getting pretty mad. I've lost a lot of flies. I've lost a lot of fish. And oh man. It's been a hell of a journey. Hold on, maybe we gotta do that with like every fish. Cause now I'm just confused. I'm like mad confused. Yep. Dude, they do like it when you pull it away. It's weird. So they, do, they don't like it when it just goes by. Maybe they just want some action out of it. Yup, that was so sick. That was insane. That was insane, oh my God. Oh, don't come unpinned. Stay pinned. Dude, that was insane. On the booger. We gotta land this fish, dude. Come on. It's a brown. It's a brown trout. All right, we're tight. We're tight. We're under control now. We gotta land this guy, dude. Come on. Please come to Papa. Come on. Don't do me dirty. Yes. That counts, I touched him, I touched him. I wanna show him off though. There he goes. That counts. If, if I was gonna eat him, then it wouldn't count. But I could have landed that fish probably if I was a little bit smarter. But guys, I think I'm going a little bit crazy today. Cause I thought we were gonna absolutely caduzzle on him today. We started really strong, really, really strong. Then we I told, got told myths by this old fisherman to go upstream where all the good fishing is, the cliffs, the holes. We went up like four miles and found bear poop. That was the most exciting thing we found, bear poop. Moldy bear poop for all that counts. But now I'm pumped because we're hooking fish. And it, the white woolly booger, dude, I like this because I'm a bass fisherman, if you haven't noticed. I'm not a trout fisherman by all means. I like to do it, but I'm not the best at it. I love it. Fun, it's aggravating. Fly fishermen, y'all, 
Now our build's different. But uh, I, I want to be more in control of these fish as if, if they're going to eat or not. So I want to work a woolly booger. I want to twitch it. I want to do all this action. I want to be more in control than just letting something float down there. Woo! But hey, that counts as a fish. That's two browns on the boat. I'd like to get one more. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, come for it. Eat it, come on. That's a good fish right there. But they like it when it's moving fast, I'll tell you that. All right, we're making a plan. This, there's fish loaded in this hole. We got one of them to eat, one brown. We have a storm rolling in. You might have heard the thunder, but out of nowhere there's a storm. How could this day get any freaking better? Plus, we're having charging issues. It's been a wild journey. We have a plan though. We're gonna head up a little creek that runs into this stream. If this is one of the top streams, then that creek has to be one of the top little tiny creeks in this area. Game plan, we just gotta pray for the best. We got two fish landed right now, in like one and a half, but we're counting it too. We've lost at least 12,000. We're gonna see what we can make happen. Going up this tiny creek, it should be interesting. Let's get one more, let's get one more. Oh yeah, we're getting deep in it. This is actually a little side creek, and it is literally just a waterfall paradise. It's like six or seven waterfalls going into a pool until a big one at the very bottom. And we're gonna fish all, all these little pools. Am I going like crazy or are those fish? I'm going crazy. All right, we gotta keep moving up this creek. That's a good sign that we saw one in here and he was active and he was ready to eat. That means this little creek should be full of it. A lot of the creek looks like this. It's super, super cool. All right, let's go. We're on, boys. Well, <laughs> we're actually on a little tiny fish in here. I actually think this is a native stream. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my God, they still pull. They still pull. I think this is a native stream. But oh, look how pretty this fish is. This is definitely a native stream. This is definitely a wild trout, dude. This thing's so pretty. This is so cool, dude. <sighs> this fish is actually so gorgeous. So this is a native stream, which I, I should have expected, but I didn't really know. Well, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. All right, well, look at this. This is just like a really, 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 really pretty native stream. Where'd that trout go? He's gone. And there was more with him, so we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep casting our little woolly booger down this thing with our little three weight and try and find some more of those native fish. That thing was absolutely gorgeous. That was so cool. All right, gents, this is where we're gonna end it. Hey, look at this, by the way. Little, little slithery sucker with us. Uh, that was a hell of a day. Like, that was a whack day. We started off the morning, one of the beautiful, most beautiful spots I've ever fished in my entire life. We went up a creek, listened to an old man who told us the fibs about up the creek where all the fish are loaded. And now that it, now that it sits in my head a little bit, I believed him, of course. He, he wouldn't lie to us, but I think we just took the wrong path. He never told us there was an actual path to get there. He just kind of said, go up the river, you'll find it. The holes, the cliffs, the fish. And we went for a while, like a couple miles at least. We never found it. And now we're at this native, absolutely gorgeous freaking stream. And we caught a, a little wild rainbow trout. Now I'm not the best fly fisherman to ever touch planet earth, but I had a blast fishing one of the top. I mean, if you stayed this long, you deserve to know. It's one of the actual top brown trout specific streams on the east coast, not even just North Carolina. So 
It, it's supposed to be a good stream. Oh yeah, we got a little bloody today too. You guys didn't see that either, but hell of a day, hell of an adventure. Now we're in a thunderstorm and we got a skedally doo-wop. I'm surprised you guys haven't heard a big fat thunder crunch. I'm sure right when I stop recording there will be one, but I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for staying tuned this whole video. We gotta get back home and catch some bass. Get out of here. We gotta, we gotta recover to our normal fishing adventures, but I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, I love y'all. Keep grinding out there. The fish are coming your way. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.